Hey everybody, welcome to Fashion Friday. Sorry it's a little late today. I actually spent all day long thinking it was Thursday. Um, my week has been nuts. Next week's gonna be even crazier, but I'm so grateful that I get to do this. I'm really excited. Um, I'm wearing all black because I actually am on my way to a gig. And for those of you who don't know, when you do a wardrobe job or a styling job and you're on set or you're backstage somewhere, you gotta stay on the lowdown. So this is my version of staying on the lowdown. Um, my version includes Chanel shoes. Kind of want to talk about that today. I have this kind of realization, and if you guys are on my Facebook group, The Slam Squad, um, it is a body positive and kind of like female empowerment page, so go over there, check it out, introduce yourself to me, and I will get you in. So I posted about this yesterday. Do you guys know the, like, on this day feature on Facebook? I always click on it because I either delete something cringeworthy or I just like to see how far I've come. Like, uh, two days ago, it was um, like the anniversary of the Tom Petty concert that we got to go to and be backstage for, and um, also kind of ties into this whole thing. And I'm just gonna hang out. I'm gonna get comfortable. Arrow's gonna join us today instead of Bo. So I'm thinking about this whole on this day thing. I click on it, see our Tom Petty photos, go, oh, that's so nice. I'm so lucky I live in like, I have such a great life now. And then I got to, it was either, I think it was, it was 2015, and there was a post from my ex-boyfriend. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have been in like three or four very serious relationships, the last one being my husband, and this was the relationship before my husband, and he had posted a photo of me modeling, and um, you know, it was a great photo, I didn't think anything else of it. And then I thought, I want to see if we still have any mutual friends left, because I did have a lot of great mutual friends from that relationship. And the woman that my ex-boyfriend had an affair with, um, he claims it was only emotional, I think it was a lot more than that, um, she had liked it. And three years ago, I would have thrown my phone, I would have had a fit, I would have called him every name in the book, but I was really grateful, because in this really bizarre way, she had done for me what I've been telling my clients to do all along when it comes to their closet. Hear me out. So I always tell my clients when they're in that space if I have nothing to wear or there's too much going on uh, in, like closet wise, I always tell them it's like you have nothing to wear because you don't have quality pieces that fit you. You don't have pieces that serve who you are as a person today. Either the stuff that doesn't fit them anymore, maybe it's too big or too small, maybe it's stained and ripped and you're still settling on it because it fits and you don't want to go shopping. There's all these reasons why we hold on to things that don't serve us anymore. And things that take up space in our closet don't leave room for better pieces to come in. I just did my spring cleaning of my closet. It brought in some Chanel shoes. I decided um, when I was 19 what kind of life I wanted to have. I wrote it down. And I spent most of my early 20s trying to force things into that lifestyle. In the same way that I used to force my size 16 self to try to fit into a size 8. It just wasn't working. It was uncomfortable. There were rolls of fat places. Um, and there were just, it wasn't a good fit. I spent all my early 20s trying to get people to fit into that narrative instead of letting it happen. So, in a weird way, this was a really great metaphor. That woman actually did me a really great favor by removing something from my the closet of my mind and allowing something wonderful to come in. That being my husband, which then led to having a supportive partner, having um, kind of like this house that I'm in right now pretty much described exactly what I wanted at 19. I talked about having the like pitter patter of little claws on hardwood floor, little paws, hardwood floor, I talked about having a room that was dedicated to my clothes. I talked about having a musician for a husband that was actually successful and on tour, and I have that. Um, he's going on the road this year. And I thought about how we as women hold on to things that don't serve us because we don't think we can get any better. And I'm gonna move that back into clothes, but when you hold on to things that don't fit you, be it maybe it's stuff that you wore 10 years ago and you were smaller then, if you put those pants on, the pants you wore 10 years ago, and then you're beating yourself up because they don't fit anymore, you are just further perpetuating bad body image in your head. And women are in 
in this really weird, I don't, please, I will butcher the scientific knowledge, or the scientific terminology rather. When we panic over something, our brain's still going back into like cave woman days, and we don't know if we're panicking over our jeans not fitting or a water buffalo chasing us. And then we release all of the same hormones, and those hormones in turn make us stressed, make us hold on to weight, make us feel really crappy about ourselves. How would you feel if you took all the pieces that were no longer serving you in this moment, and either if you are trying to lose weight, gain weight, whatever, take those clothes, put them in a Rubbermaid container, stick them under your bed, and visit them in six weeks, or six months rather, or just get rid of them. Because then you're going to allow space in your closet. I got rid of my really beat up nasty flats to get my Chanel loafers. Because I decided when I was 19 that I was going to be the kind of woman that always had her nails done, had a great musical partner in life that I loved and adored me more than anything in the world, also had a job. That was a really big deal for 19 year old Pete, clearly. I still didn't learn it until I was like 24 though. Uh, I wanted to be the type of woman that could afford to do these things. And the beliefs that I had, the things in my closet I had, they were all holding me back from becoming the woman I am today. So when you clean out your closet in reality, I want you to ask yourself when you look at every piece, does this piece serve a function? Does this piece make me the woman I want to become or does it hinder me from becoming the woman I want to become? If I had a closet full of nothing but stained sweatpants, do you think anyone would take me seriously as a professional woman, as a wardrobe genius? So I've been called wardrobe wonder woman. Do you think that they would come to me for style questions? No, they wouldn't. They'd be like, oh, she clearly doesn't care about herself. Um, I'm going to be talking about on a podcast um, day after tomorrow, I'm going to be on this really amazing podcast talking about body image, weight, and personal style all being spiritual issues, but like spiritual, not like spiritual. Well, they're all connected. But I'm going to be talking about that. And I really want you guys to think about the closet that you have physically and the closet that you have mentally. What is in your closet that is cluttered? What is holding you back from adding beautiful pieces that are going to help you move forward? And then when you get rid of those pieces, I want you to honor the space they provide. I actually sent, um, I was thinking about that woman and then my ex, and I was so grateful for them. I was so grateful that those two were so selfish because it allowed me to put myself first. It allowed me to move out. It allowed me to be with my partner who then helped me build my career. I'm helping him build his. It helped me get in my house of my dreams. It helped me get my dog. Well, I had Arrow, but I wanted two. So it helped me get Bo. It provided me all these opportunities. So honor the pieces that no longer serve you. Thank them for the space that they are going to be providing and move on. Do it in your closet, do it in your mind, and I guarantee you, you will be one step closer to becoming the woman you want to be. I will talk to you guys next week. Sorry I was a little late today. Things are a little nuts up there. Maybe I should organize my closet, right? I'll talk to you next week. I love you. You wear it well. Bye.